but he had a, a really attractive wife. As things developed, there was a young man playing the piano, the keyboard in their church. The pastor's wife and this keyboard player had a child together. The pastor really didn't do anything, except he was just too busy. She was a very talented young lady. She music, drama, and uh, the denomination kicked them out. Told her she could never, ever, 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 mm -hmm. ever be involved in your church. Kicked the pastor out too. Never be involved in music again. And she was ready to go to the West Coast and go into the hunky tonks. Devastated. She had a son, a, a daughter. And uh, quiet is mm -hmm. They hated me. But one Sunday morning she felt like she should come to our church. She walked in. And I asked. My son later had come out of that church many, many years ago. And I, I said to Margo, who is that? No, she'd come a couple, three times on Sunday mornings. And I was preaching the series on the molten eagle. <laughs> she took the tapes home and they, her husband was at home. They was devastated. Their marriage was in shambles. Mm -hmm. She thought there was no more hope for ministry. She thought it was over. She walked in, she started taking and takes on. Pretty soon he shows up. Mm -hmm. God told me to cover him. Mm -hmm. And he also told me to cover the piano player that had got her pregnant. He wasn't coming then. I didn't know whether he'd ever come up. This is, you know this is. She was very gifted in mind and music. Very gifted, I didn't know. But I, I turned to our role on Sunday morning and said, Who's that? That blonde that keeps coming. She said, That's so and so. Pastor, his wife. Pastor, yeah. Well, she came to me. Her and her husband came to me after they'd been coming for a couple. But I, I was preaching the eagles, the molting eagle. I was preaching on you. Don't, you got a cleft over your head. And it was life to her. Mm -hmm. Now listen, there's a gift and there's a fruit. You'll destroy yourself if you operate just the gift. They come in, they talk to me, and they, they told me the whole story. How she said she's weak and I, 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 don't, I don't want to do anything, but I got a ministry. I was headed for the West Coast and the Hunky Tonks was leaving my family and my husband. Anyway, make a long story short, I let it ride a few months and here come the piano player that had got her pregnant. And I, he came in, he told me the whole story. I just said, you're welcome, we're going we're gonna to love you. It wasn't six months till the Lord said, she's ready for music. Of course, he hadn't done anything, and the Lord said, use him. Now, these people, this is the people that told me they didn't want nobody to say to them, my tent. And so she came in, caught her up on the platform. I trusted her with the kids. I seen genuine repentance. I'm not talking about <coughs> covering sin. Right. Right. I'm talking about covering I was on, so I called him and I said, you're ready. He's up in our music. I just lost one of the greatest keyboard persons. It's a guy by the name of Steve Foote. This, <coughs> this man could play for any country, rock, sympathy orchestra. Most I said sympathy. 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 <laughs> <laughs> 
I just lost him. So all of a sudden, I got Bill up there. I started getting calls from the denomination. Six and eight calls a day from preachers. Who do you think you are using them sinners? My flesh riled up. Who do you think you are calling me? First of all, I'm not ordained with you. You can't pull my license. What are you going to do? Huh? What are you going to do? And get a fight. Now, come on, let's get real. Yeah, come on. <laughs> Make a long story short, I went through hell. They blasted me all over. They blasted me in every church. They let them sinners. I want to tell you something. I let him preach. He was a teacher type. She was under me. Oh, she took our kids and put on some of the greatest she, she, she skits and oh, and totally changed. When I got ready to leave, she wrote me this letter. I'm close. Can you? I'm not gonna read it all. The pastor Finn. I just wanted to take this time to thank you. Actually, it's to me and Sister Finn, both for your faithful years of service to the body of Christ in the Hudson area. Now, I'm not doing this for me. I want you to see what klepto is. And feeding multiple saints can do. I thank you for your service to the body of Christ in the Hudson Valley area and for the impact you've had on my life. Thank you for the love and mercy you've shown me. I will never forget it. Because they've shown it to me, I will be careful to show it to others. I chose to write this letter so that you can always look back and remember that you truly did made a difference in people's lives. People have gleaned many things from the ministry that will carry it with them for the rest of their, their lives. I certainly could have shared this in church, but it's definitely going to take more than two minutes. Now, I had to, You could testify anytime you wanted to, but it's two minutes. Not two minutes and one second. Unless I, now you say this is too harsh. No, because you got, if, if 10 people testify two minutes, that's 20 minutes. And God give me the word. But I also left it open. If I said, go ahead, tell it, tell the rest of it, you could go tw 20 hours. I may understand something. <coughs> that's what she meant here. Pastor, I know that sometimes you think people aren't listening, but, and, or they don't get it. I want to share some of the things that I did get, and you're going you're gonna to appreciate the things that have changed my life and made me a more balanced Christian. There are just a few highlights of the things that have impacted me the most. First of all, when I first came to you, you know were aware that my life was a mess. I had little hope of ever being involved in ministry. Mm -hmm. Again, it was under, under total condemnation from the enemy because of my failures. There were two teachings at that time that ministered to my pain and restored hope to me. One was the message on the molten eagle. eagle. Mm -hmm. And she has in parenthesis, which I believe is one of the greatest messages ever preached anywhere. And the other message was about the two thieves, the remember me message. I can remember feeling a glimmer of hope and then a joy in my heart, which I had not felt in a very long time. I remember I brought the tapes home and told him to listen. He was blessed and they'd come to the tabernacle. Another teaching that changed my perspective was a message that God desires to prosper his children. As a young Christian, I was taught, and she says, you know, that just, she said, like we came to you as $120,000 in debt, and in two years, we're out. Thank you for the truth. It's changed my life. My, one of my favorites was also, God doesn't give you a dance, you give God a dance. And another one is that we are glory producers. Thank you for letting me get, and be involved in working with the young people in drama and music. Another teaching, and this is what I've been teaching you, and my sister Carol has been teaching you, that set my spirit on fire was Christ in you. Read a lot more. Can you cut to it? You destroy sin of its power, or you rob sin of its power. Mm -hmm. 